Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Uh, much appreciated you guys taking a little time to watch the video. And got a really good one for you guys today. I'm going to give you guys, show, well, tell everybody the some of the most common mistakes uh, people make rigging the creature baits. Uh, and, you know, give you guys some tips and advice on how to correctly rig them to land more of the bites you get. And if you saw the video I did last week on some of the Texas rig stuff, this is along those same lines, but um, the way you rig a creature bait is completely different than a Texas rig. So I'm going to give you guys some, some juice on that. So, hey, real quick before we just get started, real just want to go over a couple housekeeping tips real quick. Guys, we're really close to hitting 50,000 YouTube subscribers, which I can't believe. It looks like we're going to hit it probably in the next three or four days. Um, if you guys are interested in winning this giant giveaway, we've got uh, Mega Bass is putting together, you know, a bunch of baits, solar bat sunglasses, Seaguar fishing line, uh, Bridgeford beef jerky products. Um, to have a chance to win that, um, just subscribe to the channel, man. If you're subscribed, you're good to go. And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. And also just wanted to give the weekly reminder, if you guys are interested in booking an on the water lesson with me, um, um, booking them for all season right now, um, just go to my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler, and uh, just click and just sit, shoot me a private message and we'll give you uh, all the information about that. Okay guys, let's get into this uh, uh, creature bait rigging a little bit. Now we talked about in the, on the Texas Rig Worms, we talked about um, offset, offset sh hooks straight shank hooks and you know I, I gave applications for both of that but i'm going to say right off the bat um the only thing i use with a with a creature type bait you know like the beaver style or this is the zoom z hog that i use all the time is a straight shank hook a straight shank hook is the best hook to use when you're pitching and flipping a creature bait you get a lot more hookups than you will with the ewg i experimented a ton guys and my i consistently lost more fish when I'm using an EWG on a creature bait so I don't use them anymore I use nothing but a straight shank hook okay I'm going to show you there's two main mistakes that people make rigging a creature bait the first mistake they make is they use too big of a hook um, this right here is a 5 aught straight shank flipping hook and this right here is a 3 aught. you can see the difference in them right there hold them up like that so most people think, when they're thinking about creature baits, um, they think that, okay, say if I'm pitching and flipping a creature bait, um, you want some, you know, big honking hook. And, you know, they'll rig it like this. And, uh, like, like that, which is the wrong way to rig it. But anyway, look how big of a, of a hook that you have right there and there. And the common, or the traditional thinking is, is the bigger hook you have, the bigger bite gap you have, the more chance you have of, of hooking and landing a big fish. That's not true, guys. I have went almost exclusively on my pitching and flipping my creature baits to like a three aught smaller hook. And I, I actually, there's two different ways I learned about this. Um, I learned it from the hard way myself because a lot of the times what I did is in practice, I had, I've got like a, a, a practice box hook. And this is, this is my practice box. And these are hooks that I have that are like all rusted out. And I've just kept in here like this. They're different sizes and they're rusted out. And in practice, when I don't want to hook the fish, I'll put one of those little small rusted hooks on. And I don't care if I lose it or not because, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get the bites. But what I found is if I was using a small hook in a creature bait, I never lost any fish in practice. I wouldn't even set the hook on them and I'd get them in the boat. So I started using a three odd hook in my creature baits, even the big creature baits. And the more that I got talking to a lot of like the guys in Florida that pitch and flip mats a lot, a lot of them use a smaller hook than what you think. So you can see here um, the difference in the profile of it. It's just a smaller profile. It makes the bait look a lot more natural. Uh, than a bigger hook in there. So not only the bait looks more natural and you get more bites with a smaller hook, but there's something about, I don't know if it has to do with the with the bite gap or the diameter or whatever it is, but I land at least 25% more of the bites I get on a three out hook versus a five out hook. So definitely remember that. Don't overpower your bait. The second tip I wanna give you and the biggest mistake that I'll show you guys is and this is the same thing on the, the Texas rigs, is you don't, the biggest mistake they make is people hook it like this. They just come around 
and they hook that hook right in the middle. Don't come through or anything with a straight shank. Bury it straight in the plastic. Guys, you do not want to do this like this. You're going to... You're, yeah, you're, you can land fish doing this, but you're going to not land near as many fish as if you take your hook, come all the way through, on even on a straight shank, just the same way you would with like an EWG. See how I've come through that? And you just want to come back through it and just barely skin hook it like that in the, in the top of it. You see that? I've just barely got the point back in there. So what I've had now is by running that through there, I've also created a channel in there for this to come out. My hook point is already through the bait. It's completely weedless. All, all you guys talking about that when I did it on the Texas rig that I'm getting going to get hung up and brush. No, you're not. You won't get hung up doing this. And what happens is when you get that bite, that point breaks free just like that very easily. And you get that fish uh, every single time. So anyway, guys, just a quick tip there. Go to the three out hook. You know, get get rid of your five aught hooks here. I'll go in here. The difference is here. You don't need a five aught hook for any situation, unless you're unless you're fishing in the ocean for saltwater fish. Get you some three aught hooks. You know, you can get a, you, you can get different diameters depending upon the thickness of cover your fish, and you can get a wire hook or you can get you know a real stiff flipping hook. But definitely, you're going to get more fish in the boat with a small hook. Run that thing all the way through the plastic. Don't ever insert it right in the middle. And I promise you guys, it's gonna add up to a lot more fish in the boat for you. Because like I said, I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way about setting the hook on them, getting them out of the cover, fighting them around the boat, and they'd pull off. When I went to that small hook, started running it all the way through, those fish came in the boat. So anyway, today's tip guys, hope you enjoyed it. Much appreciated, we'll see y'all later.